have our own ideas. Have our own ideas experience and CPC certified and CPC sorry CIC certified. And uh, I'm currently working as a trainer in one of the <coughs> MNC organization. Okay, and uh, coming to our uh, session, let me discuss about uh, first of all our uh, institute like it, that is gratis on resource consulting. It's a pharmaceutical and health consulting services. So coming to our services like we are providing the pharmaceutical and life science services, medical coding practice, practice overview, our training service offering. And uh, this is about our overview, like it's a leading organization in healthcare and life science service sector, providing full wide range of healthcare services to pharma and healthcare industry. And we were providing uh, services like consulting services, IT, engineering, BPO, and production platform, sorry, product platforms. So this is the you know, criteria which we follow, like need analysis, sourcing, entry gate assessment, candidate selection, training, exit gate assessment, and the candidate deployment. We are providing end-to-end -end productivity solution, customized service, training and assessment criteria, designed as per client requirement, engagement extent across the entire recruitment and the training process. So I think all of you are from life science background, right? Please respond. Unmute uh, yes, ma'am. I think I have unmute. I have muted them so that we don't get okay, that class. Okay. We can take the sessions after the class. Okay. So I think all of you are from life science. <coughs> all of you are from life science backgrounds. So like uh, you must be knowing like uh, have anyone have an idea of medical coding? Like like have you heard about this course? So people can unmute themselves and speak up. Uh, I think there is an option to mute and unmute, right? So try to unmute and speak up. Yeah, thank you. So how do you got to know about this era? Your colleagues, your seniors, relatives, like how do you got to know about this medical coding? Any answers? So what do you know about medical coding? Hi, Rajni. This is Harika. I have yeah. uh, heard about uh, medical coding from one of my friends. And what I came to know about this medical coding is uh, uh, you'll be given a file uh, regarding the patient and you have to code it in the as per given. Yeah. I think I know up to that. <laughs> it doesn't know much more. Yes, exactly. Of course, you are partially correct, Harika. Thank you. And uh, like it's a medical coding is like like in US, like how we, if the patient consults the physician or provider, they will not pay from the directly from their pocket. Everything is paid through the insurance. So, the patient information will be sent to the insurance company, and the insurance company will that send that information to the coders who has. This is the process. But in between these, there is a huge process like assigning the appropriate code by reviewing the medical records. It's just not, not assigning the code. Assigning the accurate code is not so necessary for the, which makes you efficient coder. Okay, assigning the accurate code is most important role here. Just by assigning the code, like uh, it doesn't make any difference between you and the data entry operator. The book will be just like the dictionary. And if you do so, it doesn't make any difference between you and the data entry operator. Your job is to review the medical record, analyze the medical record. You have to catch the pulse of the medical record while coding the certain diagnosis and assigning the accurate diagnosis from the medical record. Medical coding is the lifeblood of all success practices and the facilities. Certified medical coder must have good understanding of anatomy and physiology, disease process and clinical procedures in order to apply the correct course that make up health records, claims and the business side of medicine. And this is the introduction. <laughs> Coming to it, there are two main organizations, AAPC and AHIMA, where these two, there are of course many organizations and these two are the primary organizations which provide you the certification like uh, CPC, CCS, COC, CIC, all this command, like CPC, CCS, sorry, CPC, CIC, COC, all come under AAPC. And coming to Ahima, it includes like CCS, CRC, and so on. Like either maybe you can take either of the organization certification. 
coming to convention before applying each code whatever the code may be so before applying each code there are some conventions to follow there are certain guidelines general coding guidelines chapter specific guidelines there are some guidelines to follow to assign every code it's just not like by looking into the book and assigning the code we have to follow some conventions general coding guidelines and chapter specific guidelines while assigning okay so what is the scope of this medical coding is like if you assign suppose let's take the example if you go to the hotel like if you have ordered some breakfast like let's take some you have ordered the dosa what the receptionist will do he will type some number right he will type some number so that you will get the token for the dosa he will not type dosa over there so in the same way if you assign the pro appropriate code that appropriate code will lead to the accurate payment to the physician if you give the wrong code if you give the uh, wrong code that payment will lead to the error it will lead to the fraud so complete payment to the physician is completely dependent on the medical code you have to provide the you have to assign the accurate codes and the next one the insurance reimbursement insurance reimbursement also take like plays an important role like if you give the accurate code the accurate reimbursement will take place and it helps in maintaining the electronic <coughs> maintaining the health records and it helps in design and planning this is the scope of the medical coding and coming to this being a life science you no know, graduates post graduates whatever you have to be aware of this medical terminology anatomy you must be knowing this medical terminology anatomy and physiology human diseases health records regulations and the physician query process you should you must be aware of this anatomy and physiology right what is meant by anatomy and physiology any answers anatomy and physiology it's like study of body parts and its functions language of the medicine you should be aware of language of medicine you should have sound knowledge on the human diseases health records and the regulations regulations in the sense there is a regulation of hipaa regulation in the medical coding process hipaa regulation is a health care insurance portability and accountability act i'll get to know more about this in the coming sessions okay and the physician query process suppose if you don't understand the medical record properly or if there is any like uh, no scan issues and if you find like anything uh, confusing in the chat you can raise the physician query process next these are the four sets which we use while coding first book is the international classification of diseases 10th version clinical modification icd 10 cm is this okay where you will find all the diagnosis codes in this icd 10 cm book all the diagnosis and coming to this is the pcs coding which in patient coders will use this international classification of this is a 10th version procedural coding system pcs coding and next current procedural terminology this is the cpt book where all the services procedures example if the patient has performed any lab that lab code or else ekg x rays or if they if he performs any surgeries all kinds of surgeries and procedures can be found in this cpt current procedural terminology and next healthcare common procedural coding system this is hic fix we call this as hic fix it includes all the services provided by the hospital for example if the patient has been admi admitted what they will provide for example if the patient has been admitted they provide swing bed right for the patient to feel convenient those are the swing bed it's the it's the supply provided by the hospital that supply with all the those kind of supplies will come under hic fix it supplies and the drugs also drugs and supplies will come under this hic fix next current term, dental terminology this is the dental procedures next national drug course these are these are for the drugs and next coming to this depending on the body system like uh, if the disease is like related to the musculoskeletal or if it is this is related to the eye ear everything depend this is divided into the body system diseases are divided into different alphabetical uh, like uh, they have divided the codes into alphabetical order suppose if the patient is having some infectious diseases those diseases will start with letter a and b 
either A or B. A and B, the code starting with A and B includes infectious and parasitic diseases. Suppose if the patient is having neoplasm, the neoplasm code starts with, neoplasm is a cancer. Those codes will start with letter C and D. Suppose the patient is having some musculoskeletal system, let's take the osteoporosis. So musculoskeletal system, all those starts with letter M. Like this, they have divided into alphabetical order according to the body system. Next, I have prepared a short walkthrough. Like, <coughs> see, patient is seen in the office for a chief complaint of shortness of breath and cough. Physician performed physical examination and interpreted two view chest X-ray. Final diagnosis is pneumonia. For example, the patient has encountered to the hospital for the symptoms of shortness of breath and cough. These are the symptoms. And it is diagnosed as pneumonia. So pneumonia, where you can find? You can find in this ICD-10 CM book. Okay? Because these are the diagnosis. This is the diagnosis. Where you can find the diagnosis in this book. And the next point, they have performed two view chest X-ray. This is a procedure. This is a service done by the physician. This can be viewed in the current procedural terminology, CPT book. That is the procedure. So you can find that CPT in that code in this current procedural terminology. And uh, suppose if the patient is 90 years old and he used some walkers or wheelchair something which has provided by the hospital, you can find that type of supplies in this HIPPIC, HIPPIC's book, Healthcare Common Procedural Coding System. Okay. Next. Why this carrier? <coughs> Medical coding carrier. Any answers? Why you have chosen this carrier? So, mental coding is helpful for the doctors. Okay. No, why you have chosen this carrier? Oh, choose uh, because of easily going, I think. Uh... Yes. It's a highly demanded era. Okay. It's a highly demand in the healthcare industry where, you know, it ensures the interest that all the diagnostic codes required for appropriate payment. Okay. So the appropriate payment will depend on your assignment of course. The insurance, the insurers and the physicians, physicians in the sense, they are the doctors, will get paid everything from you. If you give the accurate code, that accuracy will, will claim the accurate reimbursement. It continue to be in a strong demand as the healthcare industry extends its historic growth. Now may be the perfect time to begin your career as a medical coder. As a backbone of the healthcare system, medical coding make modern healthcare possibly by connecting service providers with insurers to ensure fast processing of claims. Medical coding classifies healthcare procedures and treatments in a way that both doctors are and insurance understand. So this coding process will allow, will allow the US citizens to get the healthcare service <coughs> effectively, effectively and like uh, for the reduced cost, for the less cost, they will get the effective healthcare service. CPC certification, like uh, you know the certifications which I said, the primary organizations which are current providing the certifications AAPC and the AHIMA. So CPC is the one which is provided by the AAPC organization. So common certification, which everyone will prefer the CPC certification. And this certification will make you the efficient coder. This makes you the efficient coder. <coughs> For example, uh, by either a certification, average annual salary can increase by 20 to 30% per year when compared to without certifications. So these are the duties of a medical coder. I think you can view the screen. You can have a look. You can read if you want. Review medical data in timely fashion. Keep data well organized at all times. Ensure medical records are complete and accurate. Input clinical course into the medical classification software so that providers and patients can get reimbursed by insurance companies. 
enter healthcare records in the proper format required for medical registries and databases track patient outcomes for quality assessment i said you know for the providing the quality healthcare service to the us citizens they will follow this procedure maintain comprehensive electronic records so medical personnel can retrieve analyze and report on data when needed assure the patient's data is kept confidential at all times as i said there is a regulation of hipaa regulation the main motto of the hipaa regulation is to secure the medical records whatever the record you have got for the coding you have to secure that you should not reveal it should be maintained confidential no you should not uh, copy any to the pen drives or taking the screenshots so and so you should not do it should be maintained confidential the patient's information should be maintained confidential review patient's medical records for any pre existing conditions or previous care to make sure that the data is coded the right way use the correct codes when patient gets a medical diagnosis to help healthcare providers administer proper care assist health satisfied sorry statisticians in tracking population data and ensure healthcare facilities submit the necessary information to obtain to obtain reimbursement from insurance lies between the healthcare facility and insurance companies these are the duties of the medical code and coming to advantage indian benefits these are the benefits advantages diversity of diseases established bulk drug and formulation in industry vast patient data complaint it support iprs usf da plan and cost advantage these are the benefits of the coding and this is the process flow first process is retrieve medical records or access the client chr and or pms through a secured connection or cloud where you will get the medical records through the software through the secure encrypted software you will get the medical records next pre coding to check and validate the correctness of information next process next review the medical records and assign appropriate procedure and diagnostic codes next complete audit of the coded document by your qa team whatever the you have coded the chart will be <coughs> auditing will be done to those charts to ensure your no quality whether you are uh, reaching the quality appropriate quality or not means you are assigning the appropriate code to the diagnosis or is there any changes the audit team will take care of that next batch completion report sent to the client receive feedback from the client on any nuisance next this is the process accessing patient charts pre coding in just same this and this are the same it's just like one word accessing patient charts pre coding cpt and icd coding quality audit and submission of coded charts this is the process of your like uh, medical coding so these are the features of our uh, our institute like industry endorsed curriculum 100% industry faculty complimentary study material soft skills training certification training from aapc mock interviews so we ensure curriculum is endorsed by industries in clinical research business process all the trainers at grad soul labs have worked from various us healthcare mncs globally having 10 plus years experience in the industry relevant industry study materials like we are providing you the books soft copy important materials are the complementary soft skills soft skills and behavioral skills training and communication skills training we are providing cpc training is included like along with the medical coding training cpc training is also included in the you know this one mock interviews we will conduct some mock interviews to get you prepared well for the interviews yeah these are the companies where well, no uh, previous employees have got settled and we are leading companies in the medical coding you can have a look uhg uhc is nothing but that <coughs> we pro omega dell gets episodes no apollo health street kims these are the dell these are the medical coding companies So deliverable 
what we are delivering from the grad school labs course material training certificate mock interview questions mock interviews soft skills training so this is the hierarchy level like in a sense the package level how you are from where you, you can start your career okay it's a typical workplace hierarchy starting salaries for freshers are substantially a function of their educational background varying from year to year as well as across organizations and domains so we are uh, courses designed based on the industry requirement and regulation highest placement record across all training institutes comprehensive training provided by sorry training by medical doctors with 10 plus years of industry experience overall it is uh, 150 hours of exposure of theory case studies and practicals two months internship available after rigorous training medical coding with reasonable and affordable fee structure strong tie ups with pharma cro and it organization so as i said we are uh, delivering the following services like mock interview will prepare you for the mock inter like uh, interview by conducting the mock interview resume writing career counseling specialized soft skills soft skills training for tracking the interview so <coughs> this is the scenario which we follow while conducting the mock interview okay first round if it is satisfactory and poor if it is satisfactory will move you to the will push you to the second round if he is poor will develop soft skill development and will input some you no know, uh like a guidelines to him and uh, arrange him for the second round depending on your like performance good satisfactory will conduct the mock interviews okay and these are the success stories who have uh, like settled in mnc's in hyderabad chennai and bangalore and even mysore also you can see see these are the industry associations Accenture, Cognizant, Novartis, Omega, Episource, who are currently working. The past, you know, the students who have completed their training. So this is the hierarchy level. Like first, you will start your career if you are non-certified. Like or certified also, you can uh, the your career starts with the medical coder training. You will be the training. Next, moving on to the senior medical coder. like after certification after gaining some experience cpc certified professional next quality analyst after having experience and if you are well aware of the, all the procedures you know some igps they will conduct some igps and if you are eligible you can move to the quality analyst or auditor both are same next process trainer next team lead and next quality assurance auditor like you will be the whole team lead for the quality department like this quality assurance auditor or quality assurance specialist medical coding next assistant manager and the manager who will take care of whole operations and this is the you no know, uh, curriculum which we follow start we will start with the icd followed by cpt and the hpx so any queries be open no don't hesitate 